Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be using the e.l.f. A Flawless Finish Foundation. I just picked this up yesterday. I'm getting bored with my routine, so I wanted to find something that was not expensive, that had decent coverage and looked good, and that would work for my dry skin. So if you have dry skin like I do and you're looking for a new routine, I'm using these two together today. This is the LA Girl Pro High Definition Concealer with the e.l.f. Foundation. If you're curious of how it applied, if I like the outcome, especially for dry skin, then just keep watching. I counted around 45 shades, I might be off, but that's quite a bit, and it's only six bucks on the website. I got it at CVS and ended up paying eight bucks, so I would definitely order online because they had way more shades online. And the shade that I got is the Light Ivory. It says fair with golden undertones. I don't have golden undertones, I'm very cool toned, so we'll see how this works on my skin. But let's see, details. It's a flawless finish foundation, a lightweight, oil-free, blends naturally into the skin for a semi-matte finish that lasts all day. It restores uneven skin textures and tones for visibly brighter skin. So it's used with a brush or sponge. So I've already primed my skin. I'll have everything listed in the description down below. I'm gonna shake it and pump one pump on the back of my hand. Maybe. Okay, so, ew. I don't know if I didn't shake it enough or if this is an old bottle, but look at that separation. It's so watery and gross. That's one pump. Oh, that looks gross. And it's super golden, which is not me at all. But we'll blend it down the neck and make it work. Ugh, it feels gross. I'm gonna do one side of my face first. It smells like, it smells perfumey, almost like a lotion you get at a hotel in the bathroom. It's weird. I'm gonna try a brush on the side and a sponge on the other. Where'd it go? Okay, well that just, look at the side to side, there's nothing there. I'm gonna try another pump, shake it a little bit better. Okay, that time it came out a little separated, but more put together. Looks a bit thicker, I'm gonna just Try again. Oh, it burns. Oh my gosh, I don't know if it's like the perfume in it, but it really burns. But it's very light coverage. It just kind of evened out my skin tone a little. Okay, so I used about half of that second pump. So I've got a pump and a half on my face. This is how it's looking. No foundation, foundation. Oh, hey, steaming. So you can see I've got some like, I've got some stuff on my face I want to cover. It's not really covering anything, and it actually really burns. I'm kind of worried. The color doesn't look that bad. You honestly can't really tell. I'm gonna take the rest of that on this side. Okay, so I went and wet my sponge. I'm going to blend that out before it dries. My skin is really dry right now and not feeling great. So that might be why it burns, but I haven't had that problem with any other foundation, so. Looks like about the same amount of coverage on both sides, honestly. I'm gonna take another full pump on the back of my hand. I'm gonna try to build up the coverage. It doesn't honestly look that bad on my skin anymore. This side didn't burn at all. This side burnt quite a bit when I put it on. I don't know if it's just because my skin was so dry or what, but the moisture from the sponge really helped. So I'm gonna try to build it up. Okay, so all in all I've used about three and a half pumps total to get this amount of coverage. Maybe four. I got a decent amount of coverage. I would say it's like medium coverage. Definitely not full coverage like they said it would be. Um, it's obviously really sticky because I just reapplied, but I'm hoping it will sit down a little bit because I don't like the powder. So I'm gonna give it a couple of minutes to sit down, but as of right now, it feels really lightweight. It doesn't feel like I've got much of anything on my face even though it's wet, but it looks really nice. It's not clinging to dry patches. I actually don't hate it so far, so I'll be right back. 
So while it's still drying down, I was looking at the ingredients and perfume is pretty far down on the list, but it is on the list. And there's a lot of like dimethicone. Um, dimethicone is the second ingredient, so that worries me because that doesn't look very good on my skin because it's so dry, it kind of just slips right off instead of clinging to it. And then other times it kind of clings to the dry patches and doesn't really look good either way. The water is also the first ingredient, which is why it looked really gross in the beginning, so I'm not that worried about it, the separation. Okay, so it's been about seven minutes and it's still really tacky. You can see the finish is like a little radiant. It actually looks more semi-matte in person. It's still drying down, I think, but it's just taking so long that I'm gonna go ahead and put some concealer on. So I'm going to be trying the LA Girl Pro High Definition Concealer in the shade GC954 Fairest. It looks really pale, but it jumped from this one at CVS to like a much darker one. I got the one that I thought would look best on my skin, so here we go. That's white. Okay, so I'm gonna use a little bit of this and mix it with my other concealer. You know, I kinda like that. Super brightening, I think it looks really good. I wanted to try the combination because I thought if I could get those two to be full coverage and to be what I wanted for my dry skin. The total, I paid 11 bucks for both of them, so that is not bad. I'm really excited about that, it looks really good. Okay, so I went ahead and finished up my makeup. I used a tiny amount of powder because I didn't want to overdo it, and some bronzer to warm up my face. I think the color match was decent. The coverage is okay, it's not perfect. You can see it's like, coming off of the tip of my nose there already, which is really hard for me to keep foundation on my nose, especially when it's dimethicone. Coming off my chin a little bit. But um, once I set it with powder, it was good to go. I can't even tell it's on my face. Honestly, it is so lightweight. You can't feel it. It feels really good. I think it looks pretty good. The only thing that really bothers me is the tip of my nose there, but this is coming off in a couple hours so I can go to the gym anyways. But all in all, I really like it. I think combined with the concealer, it's a great pair. I paid 11 bucks and I've got a pretty good coverage look going on right now. I just covered my hands in highlighter. And I would definitely recommend it. Seriously, the foundation is six bucks and the concealer is three bucks. So order it on the actual e.l.f. website and then the LA Colors website. So leave a thumbs up down below if you enjoyed this video, a comment if you would like, subscribe before you go, and hopefully I'll have more content for you soon. Bye guys!